How does it feel like your role um, in this offense has changed compared to last year's team? Um, I mean, I think, you know, it's basically just uh, try and get my shots where I can get them and, you know, do the little things in this offensive rebound, um, you know, set screens, you know, hit wide open jump shots and, you know, rebound the basketball. Travis had a bit of a slow, slower start than maybe he did last year, especially after his appendectomy. Do you get the impression he's at all frustrated? Um, no, I think he's fine. I think, you know, it's, a, it's, you know, I think during conference play is really when, you know, teams kind of really find their identity and really where players start to pick up their pace a little bit. I think, you know, last year during conference play is when Trav really stepped his game up a lot too. So I think going into this, it's kind of like a, just a new beginning. You know, all the teams are basically 0-0. Zero, zero. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good start. It's a good starting point. Is it good for you guys to have that in the beginning, or do you feel like you've found your identity in the non-conference season? Or is that something there's maybe some soul searching still going on? I think defensively, I think we're still evolving, and I think we're still getting better. I think offensively, we played really well. I think last game against Alabama was a good, you know, step for us. Um, you know, just realizing that offensively, we really were missing some open shots, and we couldn't really get going. But our defense really stepped up, and uh, you know, really got us that win. So I think that's a big going forward for us, especially getting into conference play. How has the coaching staff's approach to teaching a zone defense differed from, from last year? Well, we never really, uh, I mean, we never really played zone <laughs> last year, so it's a little bit different. But I think the coaches, uh, you know, Coach Schilling does a great job with, you know, the defensive principles and, uh, and what we want to do in zone defense. You know, we want to, you know, hands up, be long, just be active. I mean, take, take the zone uh, defense approach is kind of the same thing as man, where you're constantly moving and constantly, you know, um, trying to guard a man or pick up a man, not necessarily taking it as a time to rest during, his, uh, during when we play zone defense. Looking back, do you feel like the team might have been a little bit better off on defense if you had played more zone last year or spent more time on it leading up to the season? Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, that's that's tough to say just because, you know, there's just we focus so much on man. And I, th I, I thought at times last year our man defense was really good. And other times, obviously, you know, we had a tough time. But, I mean, that's tough to say. Different personnel, different players. So I can't really tell. USC, you see like both teams that kind of want they want to run, they want to get out and be athletic, you know. Especially with you know what Coach Enfield had said at the beginning of the season and with their size, you feel like it's even more important that you guys outrun them, even though they're a team that likes to run too. I mean, I think we're just going to try and play our game. I think we're a tough team to match up with. Um, I mean, we love to get out and run, but I think, you know, if you want to be a great team, you want to be a team that could get out and run, score a lot of points, but also buckle down on defense and have your defense get stopped. So I think that's ultimately the goal of where we want to get to. So we're going to try and play our game. We're going to try and run. We're going to try and play fast pace. So nothing new there. You grew up in Southern California, so you know a little bit about the uh, rivalry. How important is it to this team? The rivalry, and, and do they understand the other guys that aren't from uh, California? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Everyone knows, you know, cross-town rivals, you know, beating SC is obviously number one for us. And, uh, you know, we want to have those bragging rights in the city. So um, coming off of last year, it was really tough, you know, dropping a game at home and a game that, you know, we felt like we should have won. And it kind of was embarrassing, especially, you know, Reggie Miller talked to us before the game and he was sitting courtside and obviously I was very retired, you know. That wasn't a good feeling to have after the game. So coming in, I think we have a great week of practice so far. And, uh, you know, we're just approaching this game, you know, with the mindset we need to come out, we need to bring it all we can have any lapses. Do you know, do you know any players in that team? Um, no, no. I, I mean, I know Kate Reinhardt, but he's not playing just because he's a modern-day kid. So. All right, cool.